Welcome back, today we're diving into the world of compact automobiles to bring you the top 10 best two-door mini cars of 2024. From eco-friendly commuters to zippy urban cruisers, these pint-sized powerhouses are making big waves in the automotive world. Let's rev up and hit the road. 10. Mini Cooper While the Mini Cooper may well be the quintessential fun-to-drive small car, its diminutive footprint and snug cabin may not make sense for every buyer. Those who can make a subcompact car work in their lifestyles will find the Cooper a real cream puff with a fun-loving nature that begs you to take it on a brisk drive on twisty roads. The standard setup is a three-door hatchback, but a five-door hatchback and a convertible are also offered, and all of them feature Mini's iconic retro modern styling. If you're easy on options, you can get into a base-level Cooper for the price of a well-equipped Honda Civic, but as soon as you start adding desirable options, including swapping the standard 134 turbo three-cylinder for the punchier 189 turbo four. The Mini suddenly wears a price tag similar to that of an Audi A3 or a BMW 2 Series. 9. Smart EQ Fortwoo The EQ Fortwoo stands out in the EV world, with incredibly small dimensions that make it perfect for city driving. An 80 hub electric motor with a single-speed transmission sends power to the tiny two-seater's rear wheels, the battery can charge from 0 to 100% in 3 hours on a 240 charger. Features include crosswind assist for highway driving to compensate for the Fort Woo's small size. A Cabrio model is offered for those seeking top-down electric motoring. The EQ Fort Woo won't be taking long trips. The estimated range for the coupe is 58 miles and the range for the Cabriolet is 57 miles. If you want an EQ Fort Woo, act soon. 2019 is the last year that Smart will sell vehicles in the U.S. 8. Mini Cooper S Hardtop There are lots of affordable, fun-to-drive cars for sale today and at $27,700 including destination, the 2022 Mini Cooper S Hardtop is right in the heart of the pack. But while other cars offer more passenger space and versatility, the Mini charms with its quirky personality, helping to make this pint-sized performer feel a whole lot more special. The Cooper S packs a 2.0-liter turbocharged I-4 engine mated to either a 6-speed manual or 7-speed dual-clutch automatic transmission. There's 189 horsepower and 207 pound-feet of torque available, and all of it heads to the front wheels. With my tester's 6-speed manual, Mini quotes a 0 to 60 miles per hour time of 6.5 seconds. Not bad. The engine's power surges hard and boost builds right away. All the torque arrives at 1,350 revolutions per minute. 7. Fiat 500 The retro-style 500 has agile handling, a willing engine, and a crisp shifting manual transmission, all of which combine to make the Fiat fun to drive. The little 101 1.4-liter .4 four-cylinder engine and five-speed manual transmission return 33 mc overall in our testing. However, it takes frequent downshifts to keep up with traffic on the highway. Zippy around town and easy to park, this two-door suffers from a choppy ride and a noisy cabin, which detract from the fun. The rear seats are very tight and difficult to access. Front seat headroom is copious, but the cabin is narrow and some may find the steering wheel too far away. The convertible version has a clever sunroof feature. The sporty Abarth version is quick and fun to drive, but the throaty exhaust note can grow wearisome over time. 6. Honda E. The Honda E made its debut in Europe this week, but this scrappy little city car is not destined to come to the United States. The base model of the new electric car has about 137 miles of range on the European cycle. It's a rear-wheel drive car with 50-50 weight distribution, a low center of gravity, and a lounge-like interior. This week, the Honda E has been making news as it makes its European debut. The overall gist is that the cute as a button EV is fun to drive, wonderfully designed, full of cool and weird tech, although it's pricey for the amount of range you get. It's what I expected to learn about the tiny piece of nostalgia that I want in my garage. No way, I need in my garage. 5. Toyota Yaris GR The noble, dirty sport of rally racing has been responsible for many road-going performance heroes. Cars such as the Audi Quattro, Lancia Delta Integral, Ford Sierra RS and Escort RS, Toyota Celica GT4, and the Subaru WRX were all born of manufacturers having to build street-going version of their racers. 
but when the homologation requirement for a winning World Rally Championship car to be based on a purchasable vehicle ended in 1997, the link was broken. Until now, that is. The Toyota Yaris GR is in a road-going WRC car, but it does get impressively close, having been created by Gazoo Racing Toyota's in-house motorsports arm. It is the first product born of Toyota boss Akio Toyota's insistence that his company's return to top-flight rallying and that motorsports should have direct relevance to the company's products. 4. Audio 1. There are some special small cars that enthusiasts would kill for, including the mid-engine Renault 5 Turbo, the rear-drive Talbot Sunbeam Lotus, and just about any Group B World Rally Championship homologation car, such as the Peugeot 205 Turbo 16. Here's a potential new classic, the Audi 1 Quattro, priced at the equivalent of more than $55,000 and powered by a 256 F Turbo 4. Production is limited to just 333 units. It will be by far the most powerful car in its class, the 208 F Mini John Cooper works being a distant second an eight-person team came together to transform the Via de Polo base front-wheel drive Audi A1 into an all-wheel drive high-performance monster. 3. Mazda MX-5 Miata Mazda's minuscule MX-5 Miata sports car may be small, but it packs a big, fun personality. This two-door drop-top is a blast to drive thanks to its relatively light curb weight and finely tuned chassis the combination of which makes the MX-5 endlessly thrilling to drive on twisty back roads or challenging tracks. A 181, 2.0-liter four-cylinder is the only power plant available. Despite its meager output, the four-pot is eager to reverend its also well-matched to the Miata's standard six-speed manual transmission. Mazda offers the Miata with either a soft top or a retractable hardtop. The latter bears the name RF. Regardless of top type, the Miata is at its best with its top down. That said, the Miata's everyday practicality is questionable, and its snug cabin, small trunk, and limited interior cubby storage require compromise to use it as a daily driver. 2. Ford Fiesta ST The pint-sized Ford Fiesta ST's sport-tuned suspension and six-speed manual-only gearbox can make amateur drivers believe they've found a new day job, a 197 turbocharged inline four feeds the front wheels, and a brake-based torque vectoring system aids agility. Recaro sport seats and blacked-out rims are racy upgrades. Style-wise, this spicy hatchback is the right amount of mild versus wild. Too bad its pedestrian interior suffers from a tight back seat, econocar materials, and few standard features. Most important though, the Fiesta ST is seriously fun to drive, plenty practical, and readily affordable. 1. BMW 2 Series BMW remains the only automaker with a coupe in the compact luxury car segment. Although the latest generation styling has proven polarizing, the 2 Series deft handling, accurate steering, and powerful brakes create an entertaining driving experience, which are reasons enough for us to add it to our 2024 editor's choice list. Two engines are offered, the 230i packs a 255 f turbocharged in line 4 that's shared with the Toyota Supra 2.0, while the M240i steps it up to a turbocharged in line 6 pumping out 382 ponies. Unfortunately, there is no longer a manual transmission option, but both powertrains can be paired to either rear wheel or all wheel drive, along with its on road athletics. The 2 Series provides a premium cabin and remains relatively affordable, at least in 230i form. And there you have it, the top 10 best two-door minicars of 2024. Which one is your favorite? Let us know in the comments below, and don't forget to hit that like button and subscribe for more automotive content. Until next time, happy driving!